Hello guys, welcome to our new tutorial. Uh, today we are going to write a simple PHP script. Uh, it will be no more, not more than 20 lines of PHP code, uh, but it will produce a you know, really interesting output. What we are going to do is we'll write the PHP code uh, that will allow us to post our tweet directly to our Twitter account. And we'll be using uh, the official API provided by the Twitter uh, to achieve this stuff, all right? So let me go through some of the you know requirements that we need before starting the actual programming. So first step would be you need to have a Twitter developer account. If you already have it, uh, it is it's best good for you. But if you don't, you need to go to developers the Twitter. I'm not sure if this works. Developers to Twitter. Oh, it works redirects to developer.x.com so then go to developer portal I, I already have one developer account so i don't need to sign up right now if you don't have one you need to sign up and then you'll get to this page so i already have created a app yeah if you are signing up for the first time you won't have this app set up by default you'll need to create a you'll get a create app button over here and you'll need you you can click on that and create a new app all right so under app settings, uh, these things doesn't matter. Uh, this is important. Just have a look at it. Uh, you need to edit this and make sure that the checkbox is over here. Uh, by default, it will be just read permission, but it won't be enough for us to post to Twitter with this permission. We need at least read and write permission, but for safety purpose, I'm going to do read, write, and direct message. What it does is that it allows us to call APIs that are related with direct messaging as well. I hope you got the point. You need to set up the uh, other portions, just fill out the compulsory ones and then save it. Okay. And here is the important part. There are There is a tab called keys and tokens. Well, I'm not going to click on it and show you my you know, keys and tokens because they are made, meant to be confidential. So what I've done is that I've created a file cre uh, called credentials.json. I cannot show you this file as well because I do have my actual uh, keys over here. So I'm going to show you credential samples.json file. The credentials file is in exactly in this format. And all these values, API key, API secret, access token, and access token secret. You can find the values in this tab. I hope you got the point and uh, replace these asterisks with the actual values that you get from this portal all right so i'm going to close this file as well so the first step is i hope you are clear about the first step now the second requirement that you need to have is make sure that you have the composer installed in your machine let's not go deep on what composer is i guess many of you know what composer is if you don't Please go through it once. And if you find any problem or difficulty installing Composer in your machine, please let me know in the comment section. I'll be really happy to help you out. Okay. So after this, the final thing is the basic PSP knowledge. You need to have a basic PSP knowledge. And even if you don't have one, don't worry. I'm here to help you out. So, so what next? Let's start the actual job and that is the coding part so before starting the actual coding what we need is we need to call the twitter api right so we it's it's very difficult for us to call the twitter apis directly and there is a library provided in php to, to do these stuffs right so that's where the role of composer comes in we can install that package using composer let me clear this one so now we need to install a package and to install the package what we are going to do is run a composer command composer require and the name of the package is abraham abraham 
provided the link to the complete source code in the video description below. You can go and check that out. So I'm going to enter it. What it what it did right now is it fetched all the necessary files that is included inside this package and it has saved it in under vendor folder. Okay. Those guys who have already worked with Composer, they are pretty familiar with this stuff. So now let's start the coding part now. Get that stuff. And then the first step would be to include the auto load file that is inside the vendor folder. So how will you do that? Require vendor slash auto load dot php. Right? This is how you will make sure that the auto load file is included in this script. The next step is to use the namespace. And we will do that using use Abraham Twitter OAuth slash Twitter OAuth. Okay, this is the namespace that is to be used. Now then, the ne next step actually was to get the, let me once again go to the sample file, get these keys, right? API key equals something, API separate. I need to get this all this code here. But as you know, as I've already said, I'm not going to um, make you go see my you know credentials, confidential credentials. So actually, you can do in this way. But I have made sure that it, 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 uh, these keys get uh, remain confidential. So I'm going to get these keys from this file, credentials start session file. So let let's have a look how I will get the credentials credentials equals file get contents the file is credentials let me first show you with credentials sample.json all right file get contents and I, I need to decode it because it is in json format right let's see what is there in credentials now i'm going to refresh it you can see an api key asterisk and you can verify it using if i change it here this is api key it will be reflected on here you got the point right but actually this is not the file that i want to uh, read i want to read credentials duchess and now i cannot show you this all right i do have credentials over here and this is in the uh, json format so it's in the object the key object all right so now we need to initialize um, the library or the package that we have um, downloaded right so i'll name it connection connection equals new twitter oauth we can use this now and we need to provide four parameters to this and what are the four parameters these are the four parameters api key api separate access token and access token separate so i can access, access this credentials this comes from here all right credentials it's its object so credentials the key comma credentials the second key separate credentials the third key access token credentials the fourth key so we i already have my original values over here which i have not shown shown to you but it is already in use all right we have made the connection now now what now let's uh, get the message the, the actual message that we want to post to our twitter or that we want to tweet actually you know this is the test tweet okay this i am going to tweet so next is after creating connection, we also need to make sure that the connection is using version 2 of API. So for that, we will do set API version 2. Because the, the you know, permission for posting or tweeting something is provided by version 2 API. So we need to say make sure that the connection is using version 2 API. Okay. And then uh, version 2 is for now, but uh, after uh, if you watch if you are watching this video after 
you know, some uh, couple of years, a few years, then it might change as well. You need to go through the documentation for that purpose. But for now, version two will work fine. Make sure that it is uh, the message is in the required format. So I will do what I click on the arrow, click the arrow with text key, and the message will go there. I think you, you can get this point, or even I can do directly do this. You got my point right. So next step would be we have what would we have done till now? We have made the connection, make sure, made sure that the connection uses version 2 API, and we do have ready uh, the actual text that we want to tweet. Now comes the real action part. So what we do is that connection post this is the api that will tweet okay and it accepts two parameters the first one is tweets and the second one is the text that should be in array right so it will return some response for us and we need to catch and read that response to make sure that the api call has succeeded so we'll check if if it's it Dollar response data ID. Sorry, data ID. What it checks is that if um, the posting of the tweet is successful, then it will return something in this uh, value. So if it is set, it means uh, it is successful. So we can say tweeted successfully. Else has happened so what we will do is echo error also it's better to display the exact error and the error will be thrown in this key this is by the twitter api well we are done i've already i've already told you that it won't be greater than more than 20 lines of code and we finished it in 19 lines of code even after this you know extra spaces in between Okay, so now we need to test it. Let me go open my account first. This is my profile. Let's see what's in the latest tweet. Okay, there's a latest tweet on November 13. Now let me run this once. What we got? Tweeted successfully. Let's go through the code. If a post has been successful, it will uh, return to it tweeted successfully. Let's see and check if it really worked or not. Let me refresh it. Go to my latest post. There you go. Boom. Isn't that interesting? Let's try with another text. Okay. So what we're gonna put it? Uh, let me try. Mm, let me try. You know, using some links. All right. Let's try this link. I'm I'm also not sure what it will behave if we give a link over here. Let's check out. So what we need to do is I once again refresh this page. It says Twitter successfully. Now I can come here and refresh this page. There you go. It has already shared the link six seconds ago, one minute ago. I hope you like this video. Is don't forget to subscribe us um, for more interesting and useful videos like this. And if you have any issues, any trouble while doing this, or anything, you can ask us through the comment section, and I'll be happy to help you out, guys. Is, isn't it interesting, guys? So if you have any problems, you know, not related to this one, if you want me to make videos of any subjects any programming languages you can you know just uh, comment in the comment section and i'll come up with the video if you have faced any problems recently and if you are looking for any solutions that you haven't found yet you can contact me and i will be happy to help you guys so that's it for today and don't forget to subscribe us also uh, the link to complete source code you will find it in our website and this is our website you can find the source code for every videos in our channel in this mm, websites keep visiting us keep supporting us
Yes, guys.